Hello engineers, you are welcome to my channel Felix Techno Ed to help you increasing your knowledge through tech videos. If you are new, make sure you hit subscribe button. You can like our videos and share. Whenever you are washing machine or whenever energy washing machine displays hello e error code, think about here the simoto defect. So in the video of today, I'm going to show you how you can check BRDC motor for LG washing machine. So even if they provide 10 years warranty on inverter motors, it doesn't mean that motor cannot have issues. Sometimes it happens when bearings and oil seals are not good. So there will be water dripping or water leakage because of oil seal. As you can see, this is PLDC motor assembly for LG washing machine 7 kg. So let me jump you through in this video, show you how you can test it and repair. So first of all, change lotto magnet. As you can see here, these are strong magnets. You can check if they are not clapped. If you find that they are clapped, replace this lotto. The second, check stator. Stator winding. This is a connector here, UVW. So you can check resistivity using digital multimeter. And this is the whole sensor. So I'm not going to show you how to to check the whole sensor because there is a video I posted which can show you how you can check whole sensor. Also there are another video which shows you how you can repair whole sensor. So today let me show you how you can check this sensor. Because there are other motor, LG inverter motor which don't have whole sensor. So the position of the motor is detected by main board itself. So that's why today I'm not going to show you how you can check this whole sensor or motor position sensor. So this motor is connected in star. As you can see this is a common here. You can see here this is a common and this is U V W. So I'm, we are going to use digital multimeter. Seven dot eight. I hope you can see. I fin it. You see the pin in the center and the other pins. So this is how you can check. There is the inverter motor winding, stator winding. So this motor is defective. So now we are going to detach this whole sensor. So 
So we are going to check block any winding here. You can see this is a blocking winding. So here we are unwinding the wire. So now after locating two wires, this is cut winding, one of the pole is cut because of water. So we are not going to add other wire, so we are going to use this one. If you unroll like three windings, there is no problem if you unwind three windings. No problem. So we are going to check continuity between this wire and connector. Also between this wire here and connector to see if there is connection. So now we are uh, here I'm using sand, sand sand paper. So before we wind this motor, we are going to connect these two wires, this one to this one, to see if we can get the resistivity or resistivity here between U and V, or V between V and W. So we are going to connect these two wires. So after connecting, you are going to check resistance again here using digital multimeter. Here is 8.1. So our motor is okay now. So now, now we can, what we can do, we can rewind this wire. We can rewind this wire. 
so here you can rewind the wire in the previous direction so you can rotate this stator like this by hand check if wires are not overlapping So keep rotating this stator like this and check if wires are not overlapped. So after finishing the winding, winding process, you can twist these wires. So here I'm joining two terminals of wires, blocking a wire. So rewinding and connection is done. So now we are going to recheck resistance here. Seven point eight.
So this motor is now ready for use. The remaining work is to insert this, this connector here. If this video has helped you out, let me know in a comment. So like this video, share to your friend, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in my next videos.